Hello learners. Welcome to the first video of our Madcap Flare Tutorials for Beginners series. I am Vibha Gupta, a certified Madcap Advanced Developer. In this video, I am going to explain to you the basics of Madcap Flare, how to create a project, and how to create and edit a topic in Flare. This video is created for sharing the knowledge that I have acquired through the years of experience. Please note, I am not an authorized Madcap Flare trainer. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss our future tutorials. Madcap Flare has many features within it, you may not use all of them. For this video, I will be showing only a few features, which I frequently use in my day to day work. Flare is an XHTML based authoring tool, which is a cross between XML and HTML. One of the strongest points of Flare is its single sourcing capabilities. It means that you can use the same content again to produce many outputs. Think of producing an online help and a user manual using the same content or creating documents for different types of audiences. You can achieve this in many ways using various features in Flare, such as topic based authoring, snippets, Variables, conditions. Let us first understand the Madcap Flare interface. Flare uses a modern multiple document interface that provides you many options to work the way that you want. It has the following main sections Top ribbons. You can access all the features and contain all the menus. Left pane. This section contains many explorers to access all the Madcap Flare files. You will find all your content files in this section. This section has the following tabs, Content Explorer, in general, you will find all your styles and content related files in this tab, for example, topics, style sheets, master pages, and many more. Project Organizer, you will find all your output related files in this tab, for example, target files, table of contents, condition tags, variables, and many more. Right pane. You can find any or all of the following tabs in this pane. Find and replace. Styles, Dynamic Help. Bottom pane. You will see your build progress window and messages window in this pane. Middle section. You could see many of the Flare files editors in this section, such as XML, Editor, TOC, Editor, Stylesheet Editor. When you start the MathCap Flare application, you will find a start page appearing in this section, from which you can perform some high level tasks and access information. Now we know what you can achieve with Madcap Flare. Let us kickstart some actual work by creating a project in Madcap Flare. After starting the Flare application, the first step in using Flare is creating a new project. In Flare, a project is like an outer shell, which holds and connects all your files. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss the latest Madcap Flare tutorials. To create a new project, go to File. New Project, or on the Start page, click New Project. In the Project Name box, enter a unique name for your project. In the Project Folder box, enter a location where you want to store all your files or click to select a location. From the Language drop down list, select the main language for your project. If you want to integrate your project with a source control application, then select the Bind to Source Control checkbox. Click Next. On the Select a Project Template page, select a project template. There are many project templates provided by Madcap Flare. These templates are organized into folders based on the output type. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will use a blank template. Select Empty from the New from Template column. If you have previously created a Madcap Flare project and want to use it as a template, select New from Existing, and then select the project you want to use as a template. If you are using any other authoring tool and want to import source files from it, select New from Import. Madcap Flare supports importing the following file types produced by different technical writing tools AuthorIt, CHM, Confluence, CSS, Dita, Doc2Help, Excel, FrameMaker, HTML, RoboHelp, Word. Click Next. Select a target for your project. A target is your output type. If you want to generate more than one output, you can add multiple targets later. Click Finish. Now, 
we have a project in Flare, it is time to add some content by creating topics and arranging them in folders. A topic is a unit of information with a title and content, short enough to be specific to a single subject. To open a project, from the start page, click the project name from the list of recent projects. Or, go to File menu, select Open, and then browse the project you saved, and then, click Open. In Flare, each topic is a separate XHTML file with a .htm extension. This enables you to take advantage of topic-based authoring. Individual topic files are stored in the Content Explorer, either at the root level or in custom folders that you create. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss the latest Madcap Flare tutorials. To start, let's first create a topic. There are three ways to create a topic. You can follow any one of the following ways, based on your preference. The first way is in the top pane, go to the Project ribbon, and then select New Topic. In the left pane, in the Content Explorer, right-click the Content folder, or the folder where you want to keep your topic file, and then select New Topic. In the left pane, in the Content Explorer, select the folder where you want to keep your topic file, and then press Ctrl plus T on your keyboard. I always prefer this one. Another bonus way to create a topic is, select the folder where you want to keep your topic file, and then click Create a new topic file icon. In the Add File dialog box, enter the following information. In the Source column, select a template. You can select from the factory templates provided by the MathCap software team or you can select a topic, which was previously created and saved as a template. In the Topics section, enter the file name in the file name box. In the Advanced section, in the first heading box, enter the heading of the topic. If you want to use the file name as your first heading, leave it blank. You can also change it after the topic is created. In the Title box, enter the topic's title. If you leave it blank, then the first heading of the topic is considered as the title for the topic. The topic title is displayed when you cross-reference this topic or in TOC. Select a heading style from the style drop down list. By default, the H1 is applied. Click Add. Our topic is created and you see that it is open in the middle pane. You can make the desired change by adding text, images, tables, or any other supported content. Now, let's create a folder. Folders are useful in arranging your topics and other files. You may want to group your topics according to the chapter in the guide or if your project contains topics for multiple outputs or products, you can group your topics according to the products. Similar to creating a topic, there are three ways to create or add a folder. In the left pane, in the Content Explorer, right-click the Content folder or the folder under which you want to add a new folder, and then select New Folder. In the left pane, in the Content Explorer, select the folder under which you want to add a new folder and then click on the new folder icon. After you added a folder, name the folder. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. Please share this video with your friends and colleagues to help them with their learning objectives. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon, not to miss our future tutorials.